It's called OLI for short. It's the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute and it's at UAH. John Mason is the president of the board for OLI and he's also this week's Leadership Perspectives interview. We begin with what OLI is. Osher Lifelong Learning came from a, a, a grant from the Bernard Osher Foundation who uh, has, he's, has started a lifelong learning tradition and now we have over 100 universities throughout the country that participate. We here at UAH have been doing this for about 30 years now. In fact, we have celebrated our 30th anniversary just this year. And what it is is a process of offering coursework, offering fellowship and family, and things to do together to bring the people of the community uh, together to have some time to spend, to learn, and to enjoy being retired. Okay, so and it is for people 50 and older. The 50 years old, everybody envies them because they're retired, but 50 and older. <laughs> 50 and over is what our charter says, yeah. but we don't card anybody at the door. So if, if you have an opportunity that you would like to okay. come and check us out, please do. Okay, so so you've got this lifelong learning institute. I mean, how many how many people do this? I mean, that's that was one of my questions. Is there like you know a couple of dozen people or a lot of people? We have uh, right now about 890 members in the Huntsville, Decatur, Madison County area. And now, out of those, around 450 are signed up to take courses this term that's going on right now. We have a lot of people that sign up for travel. We have travel every term, every year. We have a lot of tr uh, people. When you say travel, do you mean like a field trip type thing? No, I mean like, well, for this year, for example, we have trips coming up. Next week, there's a group that's going to the Georgia Islands. Okay. We have a trip to Iceland and a trip to Ireland coming up. We're looking at next year a trip to Peru. So there's a lot of travel opportunities, okay. and a lot of people come just for that. And there, and there, you told me there are games. If you want to learn, you want to get in a group and play bridge, or, or you said mahjong. Bridge or mahjong. There's an artist group that gets yeah. together, to practice artists. We're talking about coming together with maybe a writers group who like to write. Okay. Um, there's a dining out group and a hiking group. And so there's just lots of different opportunities besides education that you can uh, join us with. Okay, talk about the education. What, what kind of courses it would be the kind of education most of us remember from school? Well, first of all, there's no test and there's no homework as a rule. Okay, so no test and no homework. It's sounding better by the it moment. It gets better <laughs> as you go. But we offer every term, uh, we offer, have been offering the last two or three terms around 60 to 70 courses a term and they range anywhere from art to zoology. Okay. Art, history, science, biology, physics, um, writing. Okay. Uh, what almost whatever you want to take, there's a course that you can find to take it. Music. There's going to be a ukulele course coming up here in a couple okay. of weeks, for example. So there's uh, if if you have an interest in some sort of a, a field, or or something that you just have never thought about trying yeah. before. Okay, so what kind of, who teaches these courses? Now, you, you told me that you have taught already. I, it's all volunteers. Okay. Uh, we have people who basically as a result of loving to learn and who like to explore different things will find a subject that they're interested in and then they'll come up with an idea for a class. And okay. we present it. We have a curriculum committee uh, who's chaired by a gentleman named Bob Carroll. And so they present these uh, proposals that are reviewed, yeah. and uh, and we'll a lot of times just go with them and see how they how they work. Okay, so so there's no homework, but is it is it uh, is it just a lecture, or is it what the Socratic method like? <laughs> it can be some of both. Uh, I usually do lecture courses, but we have uh, TED Talks and Socrates Cafe, which are dialogues. We yeah. have, have a, there's a sociology course going on right now that's kind of a dialogue. And so there's a little bit of both. Um, there are some like the art courses, for example, and the music courses that are interactional. There's language courses that are, of course, interactional. interactional. So um, there's pretty much a little bit of everything. So when you, when you do this, there's no homework, but... Uh, is there, you know, some of us are so stuck with measuring what we know or what we've learned or what we've accomplished. How do people judge what they're getting out of the course? Well, we ask, 
everybody do a review at the end of the class that uh, not only suggests what we the teachers can do better, and I use that, I, I, I religiously study that to see where we can yeah. improve, but then also to offer uh, suggestions on maybe technology that needs to be updated yeah. or even classes that somebody would like to see done in the future. So there's a, that interplay between we the instructors, we the institution, and the members as well for what the classes are that are presented.